Hi everybody, I'm here on location in the back seat of my 1985 Ford Crown Victoria. This is a wonderful machine. It's really a great road car. If you're interested in learning a little bit more about this vehicle, I encourage you to check out this video right here. But the reason I'm back here today is because I have a problem with my rear power windows. Specifically, when I push the button to lower the window, I hear noise and the window only partially comes down and then when I attempt to raise the window again, not much happens. I'm not an expert in automobile mechanics, but that's not operating as it should. If you have a vehicle that exhibits the symptoms that I just talked about and you have a power window motor that looks something like this, this video will very likely help you to repair your inoperable power windows for free. Before embarking upon this project, I did arm myself with a little bit of knowledge about how these mechanisms work, and I am led to believe that there is a plastic gear assembly underneath this metal plate that may be the culprit of my power window troubles. So I'm going to remove this screw, and hopefully that will release this plate. Yeah. I think what's really going on here is there's a kind of emergency clutch system built into this motor where there are three plastic balls that go into the three corners of this triangle and when everything is moving along as it should it hooks onto the flat sides of this triangle so that as this big gear turns so does this small one but I think those little balls have been chewed up for an unknown reason to me either somebody decided to stick their dogs head in the door and roll it up or maybe just the grease has gotten so worn and there's been so much friction it was too hard to turn this gear so those little balls gave out but in any case I'm going to take this out and maybe find a way to replace those plastic balls with something I have around the shop so I'll pull this out and you know what I think everything's good here this is promising this is going to be a free fix I think ladies and gentlemen so my next step is to just clean out all the remnants of those plastic spheres and then find something to replace them with I've cleaned up all the components of this power window motor assembly and now we can see how it works a little easier this worm gear is attached to the motor so that when power is applied it spins. The worm gear turns this larger plastic gear and when the plastic spheres are installed here they push up against this metal piece and it turns along with the plastic gear. When an abnormal amount of resistance is met however the plastic pieces in here disintegrate so that even though this gear will no longer turn because of the resistance this outer gear can still spin and no damage will be done to the motor or the plastic gear. I've searched around the shop to try to find replacement plastic pieces for this but I haven't found any. What I found instead are three nuts. These are 7 16 inch nuts and these will definitely work to make my power windows work again however I will caution you that you won't have any of the protection that the plastic pieces would afford you so I really recommend you go down to your auto parts store and buy either a new motor assembly or possibly just the plastic pieces 
but for today I'm just going to go ahead and use these because I have them on hand. Specifically, the type of nut I'm using to secure this metal gear inside of the plastic gear is a lock nut. I'm using a lock nut instead of a standard nut because it's a little bit taller and when I place it in the plastic gear with this side pointing down, this main portion of the nut will securely hold this metal gear in place. If you don't have lock nuts and all you have are standard nuts, you need to place two standard nuts stacked on top of each other in each indentation on the plastic gear. So I'll place all three of these in here. And then put this in place. So now this is just one solid piece. Next, this can be placed into the assembly, and with a little bit of grease, I will have a working, reliable power window motor. The only trouble is, if this encounters a lot of resistance, the weakest link will no longer be these points right here. These will be very strong. Probably what will break is this plastic gear right here on these teeth. This worm gear will probably just shear those off. I'm using the vintage Stalu Wonder White grease for this. I'll just put it all in here toothpaste style. And now I can replace this metal cover and the retainer screw. And that's ready to be put back in the car. Before reinstalling the power window motor, I put some grease on this rail right here where the arm connects to the window glass and also on this large gear where the power window motor contacts. Everything's put back together. Now let's see what happens. Summertime cruising with the windows down. Thanks for watching.